What do you guys think about what he says about depression? Um, now, I believe that depression is a feeling. Two things is depression is a feeling and is a clinical disease. Is it a clinical di- disease? You can say anything is a clinical disease. Yeah? Yeah. So, I believe depression is a feeling. Now, what's the, what is depression? It's a feeling, isn't it? What are the symptoms of a de- depression? Feeling unhappy, feeling hopeless, low self-esteem, and not finding the, the pleasure in things that you used to do. Now, yeah. let me put this uh, to, uh, to you, uh, Kimi. Now, in the West, they call it depression, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Now, in Egypt, if you had low self-esteem, you didn't enjoy the things that you used to do before, uh, you felt hopeless, you felt unhappy, what would they call it? There is no, there's like, we didn't have a, a name for depression. No, but yeah, exactly. We don't, we don't have it. We because don't what have we, it. What we would call it, we would call it evil eye or black magic. Someone's done black magic yeah. on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. just having a bad run. You know? <laughs> it's, yeah. You're unhappy. There is no word for depression or, um, you know, you don't really hear stress. Yeah, yeah. You hear it course. a lot in the West. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, these words just didn't exist. Exactly. Because, and I think Andrew, you know, says it best where he talks about like, you know, in these countries, these third world countries, you have so much big, like the, the stuff you're worried about are much more important. Yeah. Like food on the table. Mm-hmm. You got kids mm-hmm. to feed. You got a wife to take care of. Yeah. You, you think I'm thinking about depression? <laughs> I, I need food on the table. It, exactly. it, it doesn't matter. Exactly. But. Yeah. But, you know, in the West, we are so privileged. Mm-hmm. We have all of this stuff around us. We have, we got like so much money compared to people from the, you know, yeah. first thing I did when I came here, like when I was like 13 years old, I look around and I don't see any street children. Mm-hmm. And that that's like everywhere in Egypt back in the day, you know, street children, like, and I ask people, have you ever seen uh, street children? What are street children? They don't know. Mm. Like these are homeless children, dirty. You know, some old guy would like make a group of them. Okay. And he would pay them food and give them shelter, but they have to go out and beg people for money and yeah. they can't take their money. They have to bring that money back to him. Yeah. And he would give them like nothing, just a place to live. Wow. And you, you look at these children and you think, what what's happening to this society? Yeah. And then you come here, they don't know anything about it. Nothing. Mm. So you, you can imagine in a world where there is no street children, of course, you're going to find something to be worried about. Mm-hmm. And that's where, you know, depression comes from. It's really like, I believe depression exists. It's, I, I believe it's a disease that you make to, like, it's your own yeah, yeah. mistake or your yeah. circumstances cause it but it's the the key is in your hands you're well, the only one you can yeah. get some help from outside but yeah it's only you only... can solve it yeah yeah exactly uh, that's exactly. perfectly said perfectly said now have you ever felt uh, uh depressed oh yeah, yeah yeah you know so i had a i had a sibling who died oh sorry to say about that. okay so thank you so when something like that happened, you can imagine, of yeah. course, mm. like when something like that happens, uh, families break up, everyone is depressed. It's horrible mm-hmm. and, and it happens. But who can save you from that? You can get some outside help, but you need to think to yourself, OK, what am I going to do? Am I going to let her down? No, no, I'm, I'm going to do better so yeah. she can look at me from heaven and be proud. Yeah. And that's like the, the type of stuff you have to say to yourself. So when mm-hmm. Tate is saying, I have to convince myself that depression doesn't exist so I don't get this disease. Yeah. It's right. Mm-hmm. You it, Self-motivation, all of this stuff, you have to talk to yourself into it. Yeah. Depression may exist, but not in my world. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm going to keep yeah. that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Now, I felt depressed as well. It was about two two months ago when I, when I spoke about it on the podcast as well. I was just driving in the car and it really hit me. I just parked up and I was just sat in my car for one hour staring out my window and... Uh, just watching the rain. It's like you have thoughts that you goes back in the past and then you think to yourself, how am I going to survive in the future? But no one ever thinks that, that I'm 35. No, I'm 36 now. <laughs> I'm 36. For the 36 years that I've been on this planet, how did I survive? So the next 36 years or 40 years or 50 years, whatever I've got left, whatever God gives me on this earth, I will survive. Yeah. We are Muslims, isn't it? We believe that God gave us life. 
and everyone is gonna taste death. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I might be cold hearted. I, I might be cold hearted when a family member dies because you're so close to them. It's hurtful. But you, yeah. you can't let yourself go down that path where you say that this is the end. I've lost a yeah. mother, I've lost a sister, I've lost a mother or a father. I can't continue anymore. Because yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's clearly said that everyone tastes death. The Prophet yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tasted death. Yeah? And yeah. Look, look what happened at that time when, the, uh, when Abu Bakr, عنه, when he announced it that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was dead. People went crazy. People yeah. went crazy because they thought that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam could not die. Yeah. So because it's that love and that connection that you have with that person. Now, yeah. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "I'm the forever living. Everyone will taste death." I think some people they don't have that faith, and then they, no. it, the depression or them feelings just eats them away, and then they fall yeah. into a hole. They go into a dark, dark place that they can't get back out of. They don't see that light anymore, but. The earlier you control it, like you said, it's all about yourself. If you yeah. control it from the get go, you will be back on track again. When I was in that car and looking out my screen, watching the rain fall, honestly, I just slapped myself physically. Just slapped myself. <laughs> I you said, have to. "Yeah, I've got six kids. I've got a wife. I've got a brother. I've got siblings. I've got a mother and father at home that I need to take care of." Now you know the situation. This was only f- about three, four months ago. You know the situation in uh, Europe now, energy, the bills increasing and uh, everything is crazy. Mm, yeah? yeah, absolutely. It's going to be one yeah. cold winter. It is going to be a crazy winter. Now, yeah. I could have said, look, I couldn't let myself, you know, go into this dark hole, go in my car and so that's it, I'm ending my life. But that's me being selfish now. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to look yeah. after? I'm the, the, the one who provides in the household. Yeah. So yeah. if I end my life, who's going to be looking after my uh, six children? Who's going to be looking after my parents? No one else is going to do it. I'm not going to put yeah. that burden on my wife's parents or other people like the relatives or the cousins or whatever. No, I need to do it myself. You need to just slap yourself and get out of it. Anything is possible. Now you talk about those uh, street kids. When they grow up, they, they become successful people. Some, you know, they grind hardcore proper grind when they're young they're grinding from the get-go you know when they're four or five years they need to feed their parents even if they're getting was it one two three dollars as long as they can put that bread on the table and have that meal for that night so they wake up the next day and then they do that grind again don't they it doesn't matter what they did they drink their dirty water whatever it is god provides for them yeah yeah you you know what like you know what helped me with like when i had the depression problems and stuff like that and you mm -hmm. start thinking about taking your own life it's really giving yourself a higher purpose Mm -hmm. and whether that's your kids your family yeah um no i don't have kids so what am i thinking about who What's the higher purpose? Can I make the world a better place? Mm -hmm. Maybe I can go on YouTube and help other people talk about this kind of stuff. Just find a purpose. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I was lost many times in my life. 